Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Tidra Chanel here. In today's video, I'm going to, we're doing kind of a part two to a video that I recently uploaded that was called how to uproot your limiting beliefs or something like that. Okay, and there were a couple of people who needed um, further explanation. Uh, I guess I wasn't all that clear. So I promised that I would make a video to kind of go into a little bit more detail as to how you actually uproot limiting beliefs. So hopefully this will be a quick video. If you're interested, please keep on watching. All right, so just a little bit of a, you know, a, a recap from the other video. Limiting beliefs start to form in utero, it is my belief, but most people will say from, from day one, uh, from the day that you're born until about seven years old. This is the time that your subconscious mind is forming, okay? So I like to um, use the example that your subconscious mind is like a treasure chest, okay? And it's open and it's being filled, filled up with good beliefs, bad beliefs, limiting beliefs, right? Lots of things in the first seven years of your life. And then once you hit about seven years old, your brain goes through this transformation and your subconscious mind or, or should I say this treasure chest closes okay there's a lock on it and the things that you learned is, or, or in or observe absorbed over the seven years starts to play out in your adult life and we, we don't really know why if you're not really conscious of your subconscious mind and beliefs then things will start to happen in your lives and you seem to be in like this this cycle and you're not sure why well it's because of your subconscious beliefs right and because most people aren't that deep and they don't really know about it they don't know that your brain is actually broken up into multiple sections multiple parts and listen so when you become an adult what typically happens if you have some limiting beliefs as it relates to money is you can't really make enough money or if you do have a pretty decent income you find it hard to actually keep the money invest the money save the money it seems like it's just always going out um it may be there there comes a point in time throughout the year or during the year uh that some huge event happens and the money that you have been able to save up you have to use it to pay for your car breaking down a really expensive um, fix in your home just a number of things can happen and so that usually if you see that there's a pattern there that usually indicates some limiting beliefs um, some limiting subconscious beliefs okay so the very first thing that you need to do this is the how this is the how part the very first thing that you need to do is acknowledge the limiting beliefs so this is going to take some time for you to sit down and really assess how you feel about money. Do you have or have you recognized those patterns as it relates to money going out versus money coming in? Okay. Do you believe money is evil? Do you believe that money doesn't grow on trees? Do you believe that money is very limited? Do you believe that it's hard for you to make money? Right. You have to acknowledge those beliefs and write them down that is number one okay part two to this uprooting limiting beliefs is related to part one all right so if let's say for example money doesn't grow on trees a lot of our parents especially in the black household we've heard them say this over and over and over and over in our lives um and maybe you wanted money for a book fair or maybe you wanted a, an expensive pair of sneakers for the beginning of school and your parents were like no they can't afford it money don't where do you think i get money from do you think it just grows on trees in the backyard like you know that type of thing if 
that is true and you have this limiting belief because you know and you know that it came from someone in your life i.e your parent okay there may be some forgiveness that needs to go on uh with you and your parent right because let's face it a lot of our limiting beliefs stem from the people that raised us it just is what it is if they had issues with money okay if they lacked money if it was hard for them to make money if they never had enough then that kind of bled on over into your subconscious mind therefore your life right so you may have to go through um, a forgiveness exercise um, to really you know heal that that's going to require some healing you have to forgive them for really doing this to you for really planting these limiting beliefs into your subconscious mind because low-key if it weren't for them you wouldn't be going through what you're going through right now in your finances no shade mama daddy but it is what it is right so you may have to go through this forgiveness exercise and you know you can decide whether you actually want to go to them and talk to them about it my parents are no longer here <clears throat> and frankly my mom didn't struggle with money uh, she just didn't uh, she was an entrepreneur she did extremely well so I didn't really experience that whole struggle lifestyle growing up I grew up in a white neighborhood uh, we were the third black family on the block to purchase a home and as sad as that is it's true right um, but we didn't we didn't struggle we did not struggle um, as far as you know relates to money my mom was always really good with her money we always had a brand new car every couple of years um and things like that so that's not really my story but if it is your story um then you might want to go to them your mom your dad whomever and talk to them about it if you don't feel comfortable doing that you can just simply write out a letter um and sharing how basically you're having a conversation but just on paper right it's just your side of the conversation and express how you feel um about you know your struggles with money and how you feel about how they taught you how they helped to form your relationship with money right you go through this whole forgiveness thing okay um so let's say it's not on your parents maybe like me uh you were raised in a house where there really was no struggle and if there was a struggle you didn't know because your parents didn't really let you know they didn't express it or whatever maybe there's just something that you along the way <clears throat> caused to happen okay as it relates to your money and because of whatever it is that you did whatever relationship your jacked up relationship with money it may be just on you and maybe that letter that you're writing has to be to you forgiving yourself for screwing up your relationship with money all right so part one is to acknowledge part two is to forgive and heal okay part one is to acknowledge part two is to forgive and heal all right so let's go back to our example um, money doesn't grow on trees this is part three final part to uprooting limiting beliefs as it relates to your point as it relates to your sh money okay so part three is to take the limiting beliefs that you wrote down our example is money doesn't grow on trees and you're going to turn that into shift the perspective on that and turn it now into one of your money affirmations okay so if the belief was money doesn't grow on trees then your affirmation is now i am a money tree i am a money tree it is that simple I attract money easily and effortlessly. I don't have to work hard for money, blah, 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 right? That is how you uproot limiting beliefs as it relates to your money, okay? So again, part three, just take those negative beliefs and flip them around, okay? Money is the root of all evil. I love money and money loves me, period.
right? It's, it's really is that simple. And those then become your money affirmations that you can type up, put in your phone, in the notes in your phone, and those are what you say on a daily basis. All throughout the day, you are repeating these affirmations because yes, affirmations do work. I'll go into a whole other video on affirmations, but they do work. A lot of people say they don't work. They're programming, reprogramming your subconscious mind. But the reason affirmations don't work for most people is because they didn't do part one, nor did they do part two. Okay, you can't put. It's like it's like putting perfume on on crap, right? It still stinks. It's still at the end of the day, right? So you have to get to the root of the problem before you can try to fix it with an affirmation. That's why affirmations don't work. All right, so we have gone through and we've gotten to the root of the matter. We pulled up those weeds and now we are planting new seeds of abundance with our words via our daily affirmations. All right, so hopefully this time we're a lot more clear on uprooting limiting beliefs. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Please go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know down below if you're actually going to go through this exercise. And also keep me posted on you all's journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.